Do you look at that chat? Look how big it is. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today, I'm going to be showing off a deck list for Senti Scorch VMAX, one of the most powerful VMAX Pokemon in the Pokemon trading card game right now. But before we do, let's take a look at FullGripGames.com. FullGriffGames.com is a great place for Pokemon TCG singles, as well as all of the newest sealed Pokemon TCG product. And of course, supporting the shop at Fulgrip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. If you've got extra cards lying around the house and you want to get some cash for them, make sure to check out the Fulgrip Games buy list. I got a nice little video right here explaining how to use it. You just fill out the buy list with the cards you want to sell us. You send us the cards and we send you the cash or a booster box or store credit, whatever you want to trade your cards for. We are always buying cards here at the shop at Fulgrip games. Senti Scorch VMAX is the star of the show here. It's got 320 HP and an amazing attack. GMAX Senti Ferno for two colorless energy deals 40 damage plus 40 more damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon and you get to attach a bonus fire energy from the discard pile to Senti Scorch after dealing damage with the attack. For four fire energies you're going to be dealing 200 damage. For six fire energies you're going to be dealing 280 damage and so on and so forth. Capable of one hit KOing the biggest Pokemon Pokemon VMAX, as well as the largest tag team Pokemon GX. In order to power up Senti Scorch VMAX, we've got Welder in the deck, which allows you to attach up to two fire energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon, and then draw three cards. So you can attach up to three energy per turn with this deck. We also have the Heat Fire Energy featured in this list. It gives the fire Pokemon that it is attached to plus 20 hit points. So we could boost that Senti Scorch VMAX's health to new heights, 340, 360 HP, making it very difficult difficult to KO. Now, to back up the Senti Scorch, we've got a couple of auxiliary attackers here. We've got the Victini V with its spreading flames attack for one colorless energy. Allows you to attach up to three fire energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. It's very useful for just recharging a Senti Scorch early on in the match or for recouping some energy later on. Its energy burst attack is also very useful not only in the mirror against other Senti Scorch V maxes, but also against Zacian V. Energy burst does 30 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon, so it does one-hit KO as Ashi and V pretty easily. Victini V, definitely great to have in the deck. We've got two copies of Volcanion with the Flare Starter attack. You're always going to want to choose to go second with this deck, so you can fully utilize Flare Starter. If it's the first turn in the game and you're going second, you get to search your deck for up to three Fire Energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. It's great for supercharging a Senti Scorch early on in the match. We've also got Cramorant V in the deck with its Spit Shot attack and just end games by itself by not knocking out to Dene GX on the bench. It's also great for getting through the heat proof Bronzong if you happen to run into one of those. We've got one copy of Dedenne, one Crobat for consistency, one copy of Eldegoss with the Happy Match ability, which is fantastic for bringing back bosses orders and welders from your discard pile to your hand. Just giving you that extra access to welder throughout the game is very strong. And then to back up this whole deck, we've got the Jirachi engine with the Stellar Wish ability. If Jirachi's in the act, position you can take a look at the top five cards of your deck and put any trainer cards you find there into your hand great for finding welders in the middle of the game and just for pivoting in and out of your attackers it's a very useful pokemon and kind of is the glue that helps this whole deck stick together we really like the stellar wish jirachi in here and because we play the stellar wish jirachi we've got plenty of switch cards four scoop up nets as well as four copies of switch is great for getting that volcanian into the active position early to use its flare starter attack which we really love the scoop up net also pairs very well with Giratina. It's got the dimension breach ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. If they happen to be playing weakness guard energies, maybe a metal deck, you can remove those weakness guard energies and hit for weakness, which is very strong. It's also good for removing special energy from Eternatus decks, Mewtwo and Mew decks. It's just a really strong card for removing special energy, making sure you're not getting hit by a horror psychic energy or anything like that. If you're playing against an Arceus Dalga and Palkia deck that happens to play Aurora Energy or something like that, Giratina's Dimension Breach can remove that. And with Scoop Up Net, you could reuse that ability throughout the game multiple times. Our stadiums, we've got one Wondrous Labyrinth and two copies of Giant Hearth. And Wondrous Labyrinth is just really good. It can win games all by itself. It makes the attacks of non-fairy Pokemon cost one colorless more. And obviously, we don't play any fairy Pokemon in this deck. But you might see that Scorch VMAX is GMAX Antiferno attack only costs two colorless energy and more 
often than not, you're going to have a ton of energy on Senti Scorch VMAX, way more than you need to actually pay for the attack cost. Because of that, we pair very well with Wondrous Labyrinth. You can reset stamp your opponent to low, and this deck really utilizes reset stamp well, just limiting your opponent's resources at the end of the game when you're trying to just come in with a big Senti Scorch VMAX and end the game. Reset stamp to limit your opponent's resources. Wondrous Labyrinth, another great resource to limit your opponent's options at the end of the game. Very strong one-two punch there to help finish games off. We've also got one copy of Marnie and one copy of Research. I found these two draw cards to just be very good. Sometimes you want to Marnie just to refresh the hand. Sometimes you want to Research to just dig into the deck. You don't always want to Welder. Usually you do, but sometimes just having a Research, especially if you've been Reset Stamped or Marnie, just having a Research to refresh your hand is very powerful. And you can bring both of those supporters back with Eldegoss's Happy Match. And we do have two copies of Boss's Orders. Obviously, one of the most powerful supporter cards in the game and allowing you to target down whatever card you want on your opponent's side of the field. This deck has been very strong in my testing so far, so I highly recommend checking it out. Let me know what do you think of Senti Scorch VMAX in the comments below. Playing against Eternatus, baby. I feel like I would rather just cut out all of the extra Pokemon that we have in this deck and just put in four Crushing Hammer and just call it a day. Just be like, oh yeah, I'm just going to cheese some people. I'd rather cut the Giratina and, and like three other cards and then just cheese the heck out of our opponents. But yeah, Dragapult used to be the most consistent VMAX deck because it had Mysterious Treasure and Quick Ball which is something no other VMAX deck had. Dragapult had exclusive search. And also, Dragapult was operating in a format where there were like no other big VMAX Pokemon to beat. So its lower damage output, 130, 50, was like enough to, you know, kind of wipe out whatever else you needed to wipe out. I would be so stoked if my opponent misses the turn one energy drop. I'm stoked. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. What a beautiful deck we have here. Very good. Very good indeed. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Quick ball away, Cramorant, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Go get us this. Quick ball away this. Go get us Crobat. And we're going to draw some cards, chance. Let's go. You know what? It's a pretty good looking start. Wow. Poggers. Senti Scorch broken deck. Big Poggers. Chad, I'm about to have a real big Scorch here, turn two. When you look at that, wow. Look how big this thing's about to be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, welder decks go vroom. <laughs> vroom, vroom, vroom. Look how big my man's is. Yo, what's up, Adam? How you doing? Are we getting marnied? Dang. I like that hand. Here we go. This hand's not nearly as good. Still fine, though. Still fine. We've got the Giant Hearth. But I can start high heat blasting things, kind of soften some things up. Actually going energy on the Hoopa. It's a bold move, Cotton. Uh, it's, a, it's a bold move. Okay. Yeah, because I'm just totally fine with this. Because now they don't have the energy on the Eternatus. And I've got Welder in my hand. Yo. It's kind of an insane deck. We're about to have a very big, big boy. Do you look at that, chat? Look how big it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yup. Good deck is good, chat. Good deck is real good. Look at that. This is what it. This is what it's like when my opponents play Senti Scorch against me every time. Every single time, 
it goes just like this. They have the biggest Senti Scorch I've ever seen in my life. I have nothing going on. Classic. 400 damage. I'm sorry, Kabarik. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's gotta hurt. Yup. Boy. It's kinda ugly. Dude's really big. It's out of control at this point. Why didn't I wish at the beginning? Didn't need to. It just would have been wasted resources. We could switch later on in the game, right? Didn't need to. Guaranteed Volcanion to start? Just take it. You just take the guaranteed. Because I already had the Volcanion and the Pokemon and the Quick Ball. Already had everything we need. All right, GG's to my opponent. This has been quite the... Uh, Quite the route here. I mean, my goodness. Just what a brutal deck. That's... This must be what Senti Scorch players feel. Yeah, GG's Kebrick. <laughs> GG's for sure. <laughs> this must be the the power that they, that they feel when they're behind the wheel of a Senti Scorch deck, isn't it? I guess I understand. See, I feel like we need to take out, like, the Giratina and all that. You know, I feel like none of that ever matters. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I feel like the deck doesn't set up enough for cards like that to matter. But everybody swears by this card. Like, you gotta play it. I guess. But I feel like the deck barely works. Right? Yeah, Mass Dave, I'm right there with you. I'm definitely not super on board with very teched out lists because, I mean, they just, you need the deck to just work nine times out of 10, is what you want. If your deck just works nine times out of 10, you'll usually beat most decks because their decks might not work nine times out of 10. Like right here, all I want is a welder, right? Or another Pokemon, or a Pokemon Communication, so. I'm gonna still wish and see what we're into first. Nothing, which is like super cool. So we're gonna go, probably grab another one of these. And then, because if I had gotten a Pokemon Communication, I would have traded that, right? So that was my thought. Or if I got a Quick Ball, you know, so I didn't want to, I didn't want a quick ball first, just in case. So we're gonna get rid of the boss. We're gonna go grab Jirachi again, and we just need to find a good card. So we're gonna scoop up, we're gonna try again. Got Pokemon Communication, so I can trade or we can go research. I could just research the whole hand. Kind of epic, honestly. I'm not totally opposed to just researching the whole hand. Because I could scoop up this, put the Jirachi active. Just let the whole hand go. Seems fine. Oh, they don't play stadiums, do they, in here? Nah, but they might get the extra energy that they need. So, we're not going there. Yeah, we're just going to get the research. I'm going to go here. Scoop up net. Just research. Okay. If I find a switch, this is a good hand. So. Let's go. Scoop up net's cool. So we're gonna go Senti down. Pokemon communicates the Crobat. Yeah, cause it might get like Maw Wild. That would make me kind of angry. Okay. We 
go here. And then, uh, yeah, we're just going to flare starter. And then, see where we go from here. I do have a Welder 1 fire next turn. I'm going to need more than that to take a big knockout on an ADP, that's for sure. But if I am able to limit my, you know, board state so that they can't, you know, trap anything crazy down with Mawile, would be good. Just still kind of feels very stressful, right? Always tough. Because, like, playing against ADP, usually just you have to knock out the ADP after the alter creation. If you don't knock out the ADP after the alter creation, you're probably having a bad time. So, like, we're under a lot of pressure right now to kind of whip that play up. And Andy Flow, yes, we are going to have that deck list up for sure. Wonders Labyrinth kind of cool because we might be able to stick with that. Um, I guess we just welder to the bench Senti Scorch. All right, we don't hit a switch card. So the question is, do I just, I think we just did a change and just go for it. I mean, it feels unfortunate, but I feel like I have to do something. Yeah, I mean, because I'm not drawing out of this hand anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Looks like we're going Crobat. It's fine. So we go here, we go here. Have to play the dudes down. Okay, we hit switch fire, which is cool. Got a fire in the discard pile as well. So we just G Max Antiferno, swing. Hope that the Wonder Lab sticks them this turn. And then, you know, if the Wonder Lab sticks, we're very good at this game. You know, sometimes ADP decks don't play many stadiums, if at all. Some lists are playing zero. My opponent could always get the fourth energy onto the ADP to Ultimate Ray. If they have Saucer Energy Switch attached, they could do that. But... You know, they could maw wild down my Eldegoss. That would be a little annoying, too. For sure, for sure. Well, let's see what they've got going on. They're going to Energy Spinner. We're hoping that they can't find the stadium. They do have six prizes, 27 cards left in deck. It's quite a bit. They play Galarian Zigzagoon in their deck. Okay. And... May end up having to just switch into Zamazenta and pass while they try to recoup. I do have Eldegoss for boss's orders, so I can just target down whatever. And we're just going to let that Wonder's Labyrinth kind of stick there for a couple of turns. So it looks like they're going for the research, though. So maybe they do find Saucer Energy Switch Switch. It's a three card combo. Could get them the Ultimate Ray but they don't have it. So now we have to choose what Pokemon do we boss this turn. Yeah, thanks so much, Fowler, for that Prime sub. Two months, appreciate you, Fowler. Thank you so much. All right, we're gonna go energy onto the Victini. And Eldegoss, gonna grab Boss. And we're just going to boss up the ADP and take our prizes there. And this should set us on a pretty nice course here to be able to make some good plays, be able to potentially win the game. I like it. We've got the scoop up net data change too, so I can kind of dig into the deck more. We do only have one more boss in the deck, so getting around the Zamazenta is a little tough, but I can accelerate onto Victini and uh, potentially knock out the Zamazenta with Victini. 
What do you know, chat? The one of Wondrous Labyrinth. I know, I'm eating my own words right now. It's actually doing some things. Check that out. Insane, right? Not bad. Does feel it always feels like I have all my eggs in one basket. Which makes me a little bit nervous, right? But I mean, to be honest, they come up with Zamazenta here with three energy. I just knock it out with Victini. So it's not really going to be a, a great line for them because they're down all four Metal Saucer now. So I do have Stamp. But these are actually better cards. Shikes. Yeah. Better cards for us. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we should still have some fire energies left in the deck. For sure. Oh, they still can't attack, too, because of the Wondrous Labyrinth. You do hate to see that. Yeah. Yeah, all four saucers down. And, ah, oh, we got the energy. Okay, it's happening. But fortunately, we do have the counterplay here. Just, you know, that thing's done its job. We go here, get our energies. Go here, go here. Marnie. And, yeah, this is looking like it's... Oh, look, the whole gang showed up. Yeah, looking like that's going to be GG's for sure. Got it. Energy drive. Okay. Okay, all right, Senti, you get to... You live to play another day. You live to play another day, Senti. Seems pretty chill. Yeah, that 40 damage actually ended up... Ended up mattering. Cool. Yo, what's up, McSun? How we doing? No, I don't want to go first. All right, chat. We've got a code red. Code red, broken deck. <laughs> the turn one flare starter, poggers, and I have a supporter. Man, I'm blessed. Turn one, Marnie. Flare starter. What more does a man want? Seems pretty good. I don't know, Chad. How funny would it be if I fall in love with Senti Scorch? What if Senti Scorch just becomes my new favorite deck? What if I just become one with the welder? And I'm just a... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, welder decks. <laughs> Approximately, you know, 24 hours of after being purely into metal deck. Sorry, metal deck. Now fire deck, my best friend. Seems fine. I don't really need a quick ball for anything else, I don't think. Just save my options. Okay, so we're going to go there, take a look at the deck. Got some Senties, got a Crobat. We've got D to D in the deck. Cool, seems good. You're all going over here. And then all we have to do is get a big Senti Scorch, but then not get knocked out by that thing. That's how this matchup goes, right? Yo, my opponent's drawing some Fuego, though. Some serious flames we got. Just the welder double fire right off the Marnie. Okay. Seems fine, but do they have an attacker? They give me the hearth. Cool. They've got Naganadel in the discard pile. The hearth can be used to discard whatever Pokemon they want. No, don't say it. Say it's not so, McSun. Say it's not so. Muck, muck. Say you've got somebody other than Muck Muck. Muck Muck ain't gonna do it. 
No attacker? Oh, you hate to see that. Okay. The scariest thing is, of course, that my opponent will just get... They obviously don't have access to... The scariest thing is that they get access to the... Uh, you know the guy that I'm talking about. Yeah. Crushing Punch Incineroar, right? So we're probably going to High Heat Blast to soften the thing up while we just dig into our deck. Is like probably what we're looking at. I'm not going to like dig for the Welder this turn. I don't think I really need to. I think we just go here and research. So we don't need to put any li liabilities. No, I don't think I really need to put any liabilities in play. I mean, if my opponent punishes me, I guess, then that's on me, right? If I get severely punished for this line, where I high heat blast and then they go top deck Incineroar, discard, boss up my Senti, then I'm like, well, all right, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we're chilling. So, it seems like the correct route. Every card in my hand feels really good, though. And I want a giant hearth preemptively, but all these cards feel really good. I don't think that giant hearth... Fr frankly, I don't think that giant hearth is going anywhere. But I think... Fine, I'll get rid of the switch. Okay, we're going to go there. And then we're just going to High Heat Blast. So, that's fine. The rest of the hand is very good right now. We could do 200 damage to this thing to knock it out. Senti Scorch next turn. Mixon in the chat, confirming does not think I'm getting punished. Thanks, Mixon, for the confirmation there. Unfortunately, you cannot quick ball for a... Incineroar GX. So, we were judging by the fact that McSun did not have it last turn. Saying, probably doesn't have it again. We see the Indeedy is getting loaded up. I'm getting stamped. No. Alright, that's fine. And a data change occurring. Okay. This is fine. We got another Senti Scorch. Ready to go. Watch over. So I actually do need to deal a little bit more than 200, unfortunately. The Indeedy is... Yep. Yeah, that is the that is the card that is a little bit... Makes me a little bit nervous. So we're going to go up a Scorch. I can't just deal 200 damage because we will lose. <laughs> yeah. We need to do 210. So that means that I need to have five energy on my Senti Scorch. Five times six plus ten is ten short. But if they have the Zigzagoon, the one Zigzagoon, then I'm I'm destroyed, right? So that's kind of pog. All right, we're gonna go here, and we're gonna welder. Two fire to the active. I cannot welder more than that. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, there's fire in my discard pile. Oh, they're gonna do it. Oh, I'm ruined. Ah. All right, the Indeedy. Yeah, I'm destroyed for sure. Okay. Don't accept. Can you choose not to accelerate? I thought it was automatic. You may. Ah, okay. Nah, you can. It's not mandatory. We're chilling, big chilling, big chills. All right, we're gonna go G Max Antiferno. No. <laughs> ah, yes. Shows how often I have read that card. So we're just gonna keep calm and carry on. 
Mixon, not pleased that I did not attach from the discard. <laughs> As we can see here in the stream chat, Mixon's like, no, I wish you would have. Please. I've got the psychic energy. Here's the zinger, though, right? The horror psychic energy knocks me out on the backswing if I do take a bite. So, it's kind of tough, right? Kind of tough. Now, if I knock out the Ndidi, all I have to do is knock out one more Dedenny or something like that. Oh, yes, Mild Kyle. I'm already way ahead of you, Mild Kyle. We do have an answer to the Horror Psychic Energy. We've got the Giratina in the deck, which, you know, I did a lot of questioning about that card. The Tina can discard the Psychic Energy, take the knockout without getting KO'd on the backswing, and I can welder to this Senti Scorch here on the bench. All right, McSun does not have a way to deal that extra 10 damage. So, right now we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times four is 28, not a knockout, okay. Pokemon communicate here, just making sure that I'm not missing anything, right? We do have the Eldegoss, that's cool. So I'm just gonna welder to the bench one. I'm gonna take this knockout. Go Dimension Breach. I'm one energy short of being able to take out the Mewtwo for game. Can't do it. No, I believe you, Mixon. I, I actually, I love your commentary, so I'm I'm pleased to have you here. A one, two, three, four, five. Five, six times four is 24. Yep, so we take that knockout there. So then we just have to Pokemon communicate. Probably, yeah, who cares? This guy? Ah, no, should we have kept the... Should we, in fact, have kept the Cramorant? Eh, no, nah, it's fine. We're not going to welder onto Cramorant. I ain't doing that. We're going here. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of this thing. Last fire out of the deck. Okay. I'm going to get the welder out of my discard pile. I'm going to go here. Welder to the Bench Scorch. And then Boss wins me the game. At this point, we're just going to probably just thin all of the non-boss cards out of my deck. And boss wins. So we're going to keep the two quick balls because they help us get to Denny or Crobat to help us dig for the win. I'm going to G-Max Sentiferno there. At this point, yeah, sure, we'll take the extra energy. Take our two prizes. And see if we can't find one of these two bosses orders here for game next turn. We've got this Bench Senti Scorch loaded up. Can knock out to Denny's, Crobats, all of that. Pretty nice. Pretty nice, not going to lie. Seems good. And, yeah. Deck's drawn kind of smooth, chat. It is. We're doing all the things that we are asking of the deck. And we're getting some really big centipedes out here pretty quickly. I have to say. Feels good. So, let's see what McSun has got. Ton of energy on the Mewtwo. Severe poison. Gonna take the knockout. But we've got boss's orders in our hand. So, we are gonna be able to take the game. And that is definitely GG's there, McSun. We've got boss's orders to Denny. G Max sent Inferno for game. Fantastic. 200 damage. Feels good. Feels good. Yeah, Senti Scorch may end up having its own YouTube video after all. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and check out the Fulgrip Games buy list. We are always buying bulk and singles here at the shop, and supporting the shop directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. Make sure to check out the Twitch stream as well, twitch.tv slash Tricky Gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. Y'all take it easy and have a great day. Peace.